everyone and welcome to the Viola Playground. I am Viola's Young Tin Choi and this is the second video of Christmas Bonders with Techniques. In this video, I will discuss the short and crisp bow with the examples of Jingle Bell Rock. Please enjoy! What do I mean by short and crisp bow? Short bow or crisp bow, I mean with staccatos, short articulation, clear accents, and also brush spiccatos. So when you see anything that starts with teeth, sound with the teeth, and you still want to have ringing and volume sound, that's what I mean with short and crisp bow. Let me show you exactly what I mean by with Jingle Bell Rock, okay? But I'm gonna exaggerate everything so that you can see how the teeth, starting with the teeth and how ringing sound at the end sounds like. Like it starts with accent clear beginning from here and then it rings a little bit. Of course, the short note, I am on string. And then once again, yeah, basically this articulation and this style of bow that I want to talk about in this video. Let me actually start from how to hold the bow. Because if you want to have really short bow like that, then you definitely need to have clear round finger and clear straight fingers. Round fingers definitely for down bow, straight finger for up bow. So that's very similar or even same thing when we did with legato, right? So that's because it's basic holding scale of the bow. So really remember down bow for round, up bow for open. That of course include your thumb, down bow, round thumb, up bow, round, um, open thumb. Now we know how to hold our bow for down bow and up bow. Let's jump in straightly how we are actually doing the crisp bow with here. Like Let's have with open string, it's like, it's any, anyway, same note. Everything, because I'm starting with down bow, my hand, my fingers are round. The thing is, if you are doing short and crisp bow, and the starting point, your fingers should be even rounder than usual when you play just normal down bow. That if you are doing down bow just normally, then the crisp bow, the beginning point is even rounder. That's because it actually, the whole idea of playing crisp bow is you are basically grabbing the string before you play. So you grab the string and the grabbing, it always is better if you make fist. So think this way, if you are grab your bow, just not really holding the bow, but just grab, then are you, would you gonna grab the bow like that? Every finger round, every finger straight, and like you are grabbing something like that? Probably not, right? If you are grabbing something, you are making fist like that. And same thing happens here. You grab, but because it, we are actually playing, we are not making fist, but we are making everything rounder like you would do make fist. And then you grab with your bow hair the string. And if you don't know the feeling of grabbing the string with your bow, let's begin with your fingers actually and grab the finger, uh, grab the string. Grab, grab hard so that you can even pluck him. Um, let me this way so that you can show better. Grab and pluck. So 
when you pluck something or when you yeah when you break when you pluck your fingers are like holding your string more more and just once as quickly as possible you release it right same thing you grab the bow you grab the string with the bow sorry and then wait for certain time that's right timing and until that time you test your elbow so that you can balance your elbow level and grab grab the string grab the string that means round with your fingers and then once everything is prepared instantaneously release like that and as you saw it while i am doing release i am opening my fingers once again grab 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 and i cannot grab anymore now release if you are beginner to this one i mean not beginner for your whole instrument but beginner of this style of technique then do not think that you were gonna lift your bow from the beginning put your bow down and stay on the string round and release only finger movement once you know how to do from rounder to open on the string like that then and if you are used to do that then practice to lift your bow when you do that don't really think that you are lifting your bow physically that will give you this motion like that it's not gonna cooperate together so when you are actually lifting your bow think you are making circle little circle though like that grab as you see i am basically making little circle and the moment that i the beginning of everything is rounder but the moment that i get released that's when my fingers are get open like that round open and then round because I make circle that's for starting down bow now let's go to the up bow starting up bow because starting with up bow my whole fingers are now straight including thumb but which one is rounder my second finger because whole arm weight now lies on the second finger our second finger should be rounder and then same thing but this time from open to get round like from open to round round this is same thing if you are beginner to this style put every bow put everything down on the string and don't lift your bow yet like that and once you know how to do it or once you get used to that then you can lift your bow same not by just physically lifting but making circle out of it wait for right timing and grab while you are waiting grab grab and now scoop it that's how we actually play with clear accent and anything that starts with teeth and ringing sound. We have staccato or rust piccato, basically modification of this one, like then what we are doing with long balls but with accents. Same thing. Start with grabbing, 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 release, but the music goes. 
like you're not completely with um, release if you are releasing to the short bow your hands your fingers are completely open but when you are doing the long bow with accent When you are doing this type of articulations like strong accent and crisp bow, that kind of thing, the most important things, actually two most important things are one, you need to have straight bow. If your bow is like that or like that, the sound is not clear and the sound is not what we want to have it. The second important is your fourth finger. This, this fourth finger. You really need to contact, need to have contact with your fourth finger and this black, black box of the bow because that's how you're gonna control your bow. That was the tutorial of how playing the short and crisp bows on your bow. For your bonus and because it's Christmas season, I'm gonna play the whole Jingle Bell Rock for the viola solo. Please enjoy!